Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating topic that has shaped our world in numerous ways, the history of AM-FM radio. From its humble beginnings in the late 19th century to becoming a ubiquitous part of our daily lives, the evolution of radio technology has been nothing short of revolutionary. So sit back, relax, and let's journey through time to explore the milestones, the key figures, and the technological advancements that have defined AM and FM radio. Our story begins in the late 19th century with the discovery of electromagnetic waves. James Clerk Maxwell, a Scottish physicist, predicted the existence of these waves in 1864. His theoretical work laid the foundation for the practical development of radio. However, it wasn't until 1886 that Heinrich Hertz, a German physicist, proved Maxwell's theory by demonstrating that electromagnetic waves could be transmitted and received through space. Guglielmo Marconi, an Italian inventor, is often credited with the invention of the radio. In 1895, he successfully sent and received his first radio signal in Italy. Marconi's early experiments were rudimentary, but they quickly evolved. By 1901, he had transmitted the first transatlantic radio signal from Cornwall, England to Newfoundland, Canada. This achievement marked the beginning of long distance radio communication. Simultaneously, other inventors were making significant contributions. Nikola Tesla, for instance, demonstrated wireless communication in 1893. Despite a legal battle over patent rights with Marconi, Tesla's work was crucial in the development of radio technology. Another key figure was Reginald Fessenden, who, in 1906, made the first audio broadcast, transmitting voice and music over the airwaves. AM radio, or amplitude modulation radio, was the first type of broadcasting used for audio transmission. The term amplitude modulation refers to the method of encoding audio information onto a carrier wave by varying its amplitude. This method was developed in the early 20th century and became the standard for radio broadcasting. In the United States, the first commercial radio station, KDKA, began broadcasting in 1920. Located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, KDKA made history by airing the results of the 1920 presidential election. This event is often considered the birth of modern radio broadcasting, as it demonstrated the medium's potential to reach a wide audience instantaneously. Throughout the 1920s and 1930s, AM radio stations proliferated across the United States and the world. These stations provided not only news and entertainment, but also a platform for political discourse and cultural exchange. Radio became an essential part of everyday life, especially during times of crisis, such as the Great Depression and World War II. During the golden age of radio, roughly from the 1930s to the 1950s, radio was the dominant medium for entertainment and information. Popular shows like The Shadow, The War of the Worlds, and The Lone Ranger captivated audiences. Radio personalities and announcers became household names, and the medium's influence on public opinion and culture was profound. Despite its popularity, AM radio had several limitations. One significant issue was interference. AM signals are susceptible to electrical interference from storms, power lines, and other sources. This interference can degrade the audio quality and make listening unpleasant. To address these issues, engineers and inventors continued to innovate. One of the most significant advancements was the development of frequency modulation, or FM radio, by Edwin Howard Armstrong in the 1930s. Armstrong's FM technology offered several advantages over AM. It provided clearer sound quality, reduced static and interference, 
and allowed for the broadcasting of higher fidelity audio. However, the adoption of FM radio was slow. AM radio was well established, and many broadcasters were hesitant to invest in new technology. Additionally, the commercial infrastructure for FM broadcasting needed to be built from scratch. Despite these challenges, FM radio slowly gained traction, particularly in the 1960s, when the Federal Communications Commission, FCC, in the United States, began to support its development more actively. <music> FM radio's rise to prominence was fueled by several factors. The superior sound quality of FM broadcasts made it ideal for music programming. As the popularity of rock and roll and other music genres grew in the 1960s, so did the demand for high fidelity audio, which FM radio could provide. <music> FM's growth was also supported by regulatory changes. In 1965, the FCC mandated that FM stations in larger markets could no longer simply simulcast their AM counterparts. This rule encouraged the development of unique FM programming, which attracted a new audience and spurred the growth of FM broadcasting. By the 1970s, FM radio had become the preferred choice for music lovers, while AM radio continued to serve primarily as a platform for news, talk shows, and sports broadcasting. The two bands coexisted, each catering to different segments of the audience. This period marked the diversification of radio content, with FM stations often pushing the boundaries of programming creativity. Radio's impact on culture and society has been profound. During its early years, radio was a unifying force, bringing people together to experience news, music, and entertainment. It played a crucial role during World War II, providing updates from the front lines and boosting morale with patriotic programming. In the post-war era, radio continued to shape public opinion and culture. The 1950s and 1960s saw the rise of radio DJs who became influential tastemakers. Personalities like Alan Freed and Wolfman Jack introduced audiences to new music styles and artists, driving the popularity of rock and roll rhythm and blues, and other genres. Radio also served as a platform for social change. During the civil rights movement, radio broadcasts helped spread the messages of leaders like Martin Luther King Jr., mobilizing support and raising awareness. Similarly, in the 1960s and 1970s, FM stations became hotbeds of countercultural activity, promoting the ideals of the era's social and political movements. The evolution of radio technology didn't stop with AM and FM. The late 20th century and early 21st century saw the introduction of new broadcasting technologies, such as digital radio and satellite radio. These innovations aim to address some of the limitations of traditional radio and offer new features to listeners. Digital Audio Broadcasting DAB, emerged in the 1990s providing higher audio quality and more efficient use of the radio spectrum. DAB allows for the transmission of multiple channels on the same frequency, expanding the variety of available content. Despite its advantages, DAB adoption has been uneven globally, with some countries embracing it more fully than others. Satellite radio, launched in the early 2000s, offered another significant advancement. Companies like Sirius XM provided nationwide coverage with hundreds of channels, including commercial free music, talk shows, and specialty programming. Satellite radio's subscription model allowed for a more tailored listening experience, free from the constraints of traditional advertising-driven radio. Today, radio exists in a multifaceted media landscape. Traditional AM and FM stations continue to operate alongside digital and satellite services. Additionally, the advent of the Internet has transformed radio once again. Online streaming services, podcasts, and Internet radio have broadened the scope of what radio can be. Streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music offer vast libraries of music and podcasts, providing listeners with unprecedented control over their listening experience. 
Internet radio services such as Pandora and iHeartRadio allow users to customize stations based on their preferences, blending the traditional radio format with modern technology. The history of AM-FM radio is a story of innovation, perseverance, and cultural impact. From the early experiments of Marconi and Tesla to the rise of FM radio and the advent of digital broadcasting, radio has continually adapted to meet the needs of its listeners. As we navigate the ever-changing media landscape, radio remains a vital and dynamic medium, reflecting and shaping the world around us. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.